Board and Mayor and Alderman meeting for April 17th is called to order. Please stand and let's say the pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. I want to thank everybody for being here and I also want to let you know that we have a new police chief if you haven't heard Mr. Jason Head. Jason will you please stand up? <laughs> Jason's been with the department for 12 years and he's been in law enforcement for 22 years and he is a graduate of Springfield High School. Congratulations and welcome. This is your first official meeting. <laughs> We're proud of you. Uh, 1.2, approval of the minutes for the regular meeting of the Board of Mayor and Aldermen held on March 20th, 2018, and the special meeting held on March 29th, 2018. Do I hear a motion? So moved. Second. Any corrections? All those in favor say aye. 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 All those opposed? 1.3. The Robertson County School presentation of a thank you video for supporting the after school programs. Dr. Causey is here tonight. He is the director of schools. I want to introduce Dr. Causey if he'll stand up. I know you're not doing the presentation. Ms. Stephanie Mason, our assistant director of schools. And Ms. Emily Hollinsworth is coming forward. She's the supervisor of the federal programs. Emily. Uh, good evening and, and thank you for allowing me a few minutes to talk to you guys about the after school program um, and how grateful we are for your support of it. Um, the after school program, or the funding from the City of Springfield was used to supplement federal funds um, for our after school tutoring programs. Uh, this year we had an after school program at four out of five of our Title I schools, Chrysler Elementary, um, Cheatham Park Elementary, Crestview Elementary, and Springfield Middle School. And we were able to serve approximately 365 students through this program. Um, this after school program is important for uh, a number of reasons. One is that students can receive uh, tutoring or academic uh, remediation in areas that they may be struggling, particularly reading or math. And they can do this in a small group uh, with more one-on-one -on -one support from a teacher. Uh, it's also important because it provides access to opportunities that many of the students who participate might not all, um, have access to. Um, through our program, we have some fine arts offerings. We were able to offer piano lessons, drama, jazz band. Um, there was art, photography, creative writing, and several other, other fine arts opportunities that many of these students might not have had access to without the program. Um, other schools offered coding 
coding club, PBL, uh, project-based learning, and girls in STEM with hands-on activities um, that students could participate in. And so they're learning standards, but they're having fun at the same time. So it's really important program for those students. And then additionally, it provides an extended day um, where those students are in a safe, nurturing environment. They receive a snack, uh, they have a little bit of fun, and they learn at the same time. So we just wanted to come say thank you. We've created a short video to show you what the funding is going towards and that we are so grateful and our students are very grateful uh, for your generosity.
for what you do for our children and our school system. We appreciate all of you. Thank you for being here tonight. Moving on to our public hearing. Our first public hearing is an ordinance 18-02, ordinance amending, amending Title VIII of the Springfield Municipal Code by amending Chapter 2 entitled Beer by rescinding Section 8-211 entitled Minimum Distance from Church or Schools in its entirety and substituting a new section, section 8-211. If you would like to speak to this subject, please come to the mic, state your name, and state your address. I think the speaker's on. still on down there. Hold on, Mary. Okay. You got something in her mind. Oh. There you go. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> thank you, thank you. Technical response. Okay, I'm Mary Hester, and I'm the owner of Our Serenity Shop at 102 6th Avenue West. My husband and I had purchased a building um, from Caleb Woodard, and we are always looking for ways to add to our downtown for growth. And we had, um, we have a young lady who has Wallapazos in White House who wants to open up a restaurant. And we um, didn't realize that the ordinance, you had to be 300 feet from the center of a church. So, I am hoping that you guys will take into consideration um, changing that ordinance for her so that she can open her restaurant and that we can be a welcoming um, presence for new people coming into our square. So, Thank you. Anyone else that would like to speak? Hi, um, I'm Jessica Levesque. This is Buddy Anderson, and um, I'm the owner of Molly Pato in White House. We are opening the location in Springfield called Public House at 107 uh, 7th Avenue. Um, we are really looking for your support to change the ordinance in order to, um, to allow us to sell beer. Um, we qualify for selling wine and um, liquor, high gravity beer, and we would really like to offer um, regular beer as a supplement to our menu. Uh, so we're looking for your support in that. Yeah. We just appreciate it in the uh, commercial core district where we are, the buildings are right next to each other. So it makes all your businesses and things there a lot closer than they do on the outskirts of that. So we'd really like your support in this. Thank you. Anyone else like to speak? No one else would like to speak. This public hearing is closed. Moving on to number two, ordinance 18-03, an ordinance amending the City of Springfield zoning ordinance section 11-501A through section 11-510. Is there anyone that would like to speak to this? Please come to the mic. Not, this public hearing is closed. 
Number three, our ordinance 18-04, an ordinance amending the City of Springfield Municipal Code by amending Chapter 11, Section 221, entitled Anti-Noise Regulations. Please come to the mic if you'd like to speak. This public hearing is closed. 2.1. Discuss and possible take action on Ordinance 18-06, a first reading, an ordinance amending Title 8 of the Springfield Municipal Code by amending Chapter 2 entitled Beer by rescinding Section 8-211 entitled Minimum Distance from Church or Schools in its entirety and substituting a new Section 8-211. Do I hear a motion? So moved. A second? Second. Ms. Brickles, will you read it please? Ordinance 18-06, an ordinance amending Title 8 of the Springfield Municipal Code by amending Chapter 2 entitled Beer by rescinding Section 8-211 entitled Minimum Distance from Church or School in its entirety and substituting, substituting a new Section 8-211 to read as set forth in Exhibit A attached. Whereas the Board of Mayor and Aldermen desires to reduce the minimum distance required from schools, daycares, parks, playgrounds, churches, and other places of public gathering for on-premises beer permit holders. Now, therefore, be it ordained by the Board of Mayor and Aldermen of the City of Springfield as follows. Section 1, Title 8 of the Springfield Municipal Code is hereby amended by amending Chapter 2, entitled Beer, by rescinding Section 8-211, entitled Minimum Distance from Church or School, in its entirety and substituting a new Section 8-211, entitled Minimum Distance from Church or School, to read as set forth in Exhibit A attached. Section 2, all ordinances, resolutions, and policies in conflict herewith shall be rescinded to the extent of the conflict only. Thank you. Discussion, gentlemen. Ms. Holt? I would like to clarify because some people may not realize that we have two ordinances dealing with the um, distance requirements from churches and schools. This is first reading and this makes it citywide. 2.3 is the one that we have on second reading that we just held the public hearing for and that continues what you all did last month when the four commercial only that just extends it about two to two and a half to three blocks so this one is starting all over doing it citywide and the other one 2.3 is core commercial only on okay. second reading to, to expedite the core commercial part okay is this addressing what Alderman Sneed brought up last brought up month? Brought up last month. <clears throat> Any other questions? Mr. Sneed? Yes. Um, this this uh, ordinance 2.1 will change the on-premise uh, consumption and off-premise sales. Both will be 100 feet, correct? Yes. If we approve 2.1. Uh, and to speed up this process, could we just make the amendments in the one that's passed already one month and just amend Can we it. Talk about that? That's what that's what I was wanting to do is to move this process along and just amend what we it's my understanding after talking with Ms. Ho and Ms. Barté that we are changing the geographic area of to such a degree that the public hearing we just had on the core commercial area would be insufficient for an amendment so we need to have this second ordinance so that we can have a public hearing on the whole city next month thank you other questions so can we pass both to speed up the process for this new business We've got one more. If this passes tonight on the restaurant on 2.3, then they'll come back for their third reading and then they'll be able to open. Right. That would just move the core commercial one month ahead of the citywide. Okay. So could you do both? We hadn't had a public hearing. I mean, you'd have to do the public hearing. You'd have to keep your three readings. You would have to have the public hearing next month on this one. But the third reading on 2.3 would occur one month before the third reading on the other. Correct. 
so you would be able to do both maybe but one would have an effective date a month, a month earlier in core commercial and they're they'll be ready to open from my understanding mm -hmm. once 2.3 is passed the the one that was just for core commercial is is it just gonna go away because it's gonna be 100 feet everywhere 2.3 is just for the core it would it would go away I guess after the other one passed it would super it would supersede so it would not it would not be an issue essentially you would have 30 days where core commercial the hundred the hundred feet would apply and then you would have uh, wait another 30 days for the rest of the city to apply okay other questions gentlemen ready to call the roll Call the roll, please. Harris? Yes. Schneider? Aye. Hubbard? Aye. Sneed? Aye. Greg? Aye. Head? Yes. Pass six to zero. Thank you. 2.2 2. Discuss and possible take action on ordinance 18 07 on a first reading. A ordinance amending the schedule of fees and charges for playing at the Legacy Golf Course by rescinding ordinance 17 01 in its entirety and substituting a new schedule of fees so moved thank you second will you read it please miss brickles ordinance 18-7 and ordinance amending the schedule of fees and charges for play at the legacy golf course by rescinding ordinance 17-01 in its entirety and substituting a new section schedule of fees attached hereto as exhibit a Whereas Article 4, Section 13 of the Charter of the City of Springfield requires that the fixing of fees and charges be accomplished through legislative action, which must be exercised by ordinance. And whereas a section of fees and, play, and charges for play at the Legacy Golf Course was approved by the Board of Mayor and Aldermen through adoption of Ordinance 17-01, and whereas the Board of Mayor and Aldermen desires to amend the schedule of fees for the Legacy Golf Course at the recommendation of Cornerstone Golf Partners Incorporated. Now, therefore, be it ordained by the Board of Mayor and Aldermen of Springfield, Tennessee, as follows. Section 1, the schedule of fees for play at the Legacy Golf Course is hereby amended by rescinding Ordinance 17-01 in its entirety and substituting a new schedule of fees to read as set forth in Exhibit A attached. Section 2, this ordinance and the schedule of fees for the Legacy Golf Course as set forth in Exhibit A attached shall become effective immediately upon passage. Section 3, all ordinances, resolutions, and policies in conflict herewith are hereby rescinded to the extent of the conflict only. Thank you, uh, Ms. Holt. And I know Chet Frazier, our director of golf, is here tonight, and we could ask for better weather so that we could actually go <laughs> play golf. If you could, Chet, if you could do anything about the weather. <laughs> Ms. Holt, pretty much what this does, and, and Chet could add to it if he would, um, we're increasing green fees by $1 and the annual player pass by a hundred dollars and i think everything else pretty much remains the same yes ma'am okay part fees all other that is green fees for weekend and weekday mornings only would be a one dollar increase um cart fees would remain the same annual passes would increase by one hundred dollars all junior rates would remain unchanged including the annual pass rate okay and there is a city of springfield employee 10% discount. Yes. Dang. Does that include the people sitting up here? <laughs> I might actually go play. <laughs> Any questions, gentlemen? Yes. Watch hats here. How does that, that winter play? Did it, was it? <laughs> did, did, the winter it, was it, just not good. It was a very tough winter. Um, in comparison to other. The weather still was is. very, very poor this winter in comparison to last winter. Um, budget wise, we, we struggled, um, but March was pretty good. Um, April so far has not been good to us at all, but we, we were definitely off through the winter. It was just too wet, too cold. Thank you. Yes, sir. Other questions? Okay. No questions, gentlemen? I'll ask for the roll call. Schneider? Aye. Uh, Harris? Yes. Greg? Aye. Sneed? Aye. Head? Yes. Hubbard? Aye. Pass six zero. Thank you. 2.3. Discuss and possible take action on Ordinance 18 02 on a second reading. A ordinance amending, amending Title 8 of the Springfield Municipal Code 
by amending Chapter 2 entitled Beer by rescinding Section 8-211 entitled Minimum Distance from Church or Schools in its entirety and substituting a new Section 8-211. Do I hear a motion? So moved. We have a motion and a second. Second. Okay. Any discussion, gentlemen? No discussion? Roll. Call the roll, please. Hubbard? Aye. Sneed? Aye. Harris? Yes. Steiner? Aye. Head? Yes. Greg? Aye. Past six zero. Thank you. 2.4. Discuss and possible take action on Ordinance 18 03 on a second reading. A ordinance amending the City of Springfield. <laughs> Zoning Ordinance Section 11-501A through Section 11-510. Do I hear a motion? So moved. Second. Thank you. Any questions? We discussed this last month, so no questions? Call the roll, please. Head? Yes. Harris? Yes. Schneider? Aye. Greg? Aye. Hubbard? Aye. Sneed? Aye. Past six zero. Thank you. 2.5. Discuss and possible take action on ordinance 18 04 on a second reading. A ordinance amending the City of Springfield Municipal Code by amending Chapter 11, Section 221, entitled Anti Noise Regulation. Do I hear a motion? So moved. Second. Thank you. Any discussion? i just like to make a comment as I watch Sir? the evening news. To my consideration, and he got commented on, there was a <coughs> pastor preacher going award on the selling liquor on Sundays. So sometimes they go, well, yeah, you can be a little too extreme. Okay. So I'm glad to do what you okay. <coughs> Any other discussion before I call the row? Call the row, please. Hover. Aye. Head. Yes. Schneider. Aye. Sneed. Aye. Greg. Aye. Harris. Yes. Past six zero. Thank you. 2.6. Discuss and possible take action on ordinance 18-01 on a third and final reading. An ordinance amending the fiscal year 2018's annual budget for the city of Springfield by amending certain, certain general funds and utility funds operating budget. Do I hear a motion? So moved. Second. Thank you. Uh, Ms. Holt, I know we need to we need to amend this. We need to amend this on the third reading. We had um, two things to add, and if you'll notice in your packet, the fire department their server died and they needed new software. So we had to. Um, and this is an, it's an emergency reporting software, so we had to add that, and then um, we added some insurance recoveries for the gas department. So those are the only two additions and. We can do that on third reading. So I would ask that you would first amend it and then approve it on third reading. Move to amend to add the new items to the third reading. Second. Okay. Any discussion on the amendment? Any questions? <coughs> Call the roll, please. On the amendment. Harris. Yes. Snyder. Aye. Hubbard. Aye. Sneed. Aye. Greg. Aye. Head. Yes. Past six zero. Yes, you have to, you have to go have back to for this if yeah. we, Third even week. though we changed the money. Mm -hmm. Okay. Back to the main motion. As amended. Those always confuse me. I'll get it right someday. <laughs> Any questions? <laughs> Mr. Hubbard? <laughs> Any questions? <laughs> Bring your coffee. Call the roll, please. Sneed. Aye. Harris. Yes. Hubbard. Aye. Greg. Aye. Head. Yes. Schneider. Aye. Past six zero. Two point seven. Discuss impossible take action on resolution eighteen fifteen, a resolution authorizing the city of Springfield Parks and Recreation Department to apply for the twenty eighteen local parks and recreation fund program grant and to select Community Development Partners, LLC, as an administrative management service firm. Do I hear a motion? So moved. Second. Thank you. Mr. Martin, Mr. Holt, Ms. Holt. 
Okay, um, this is very similar to what the board did in February for the park for the sewer for the community development block grant. This is a local parks and recreation fund grant that the parks and recreation department is applying for, and this is the same resolution. It and they went through the RFP process, and um, for administrative management, they selected community development partners. So this is basically an identical resolution for parks that we passed in February for the sewer. Okay. Questions? Comments? Yes, sir. Uh, I was down at Garner Street looking at the new addition. And it was almost half full. People are responding to our parks. That's why it's, 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 it's imperative that, you know, we move on and try to get all the old projects off the table. I'm glad you applied for this grant. But if we have to squeeze out something else, we need to squeeze out something else. The comments were, we like what you guys are doing, and I'm not going to say what I asked them what they support, but some, most of them said they would. But uh, just keep on making it better, okay? We'll apply for money any chance we get. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> any other questions? Call the roll, please. Schneider. Aye. Harris. Yes. Greg. Aye. Sneed. Aye. Head. Yes. Hubbard. Aye. Past six zero. Thank you. 2.8, discuss impossible take action on resolution 18-16, a resolution authorizing the City of Springfield Parks and Recreation Department to apply for the 2018 Local Parks and Recreation Fund Program Grant and to select Lowe's Associates as the engineering service firm. Do I hear a motion? So moved. Second. And this Same. is the second mandatory, this is for the engineering services. So this is another requirement for the application for the grant. Any questions? And no money is spent on any of these unless we get the grant. Call the road, please. Hubbard. Aye. Sneed. Aye. Harris. Yes. Schneider. Aye. Head. Yes. Greg. Aye. Pass six zero. Two point nine. Discuss impossible take action on resolution eighteen seventeen, a resolution declaring certain properties surplus and authorizing the disposal of such properties. Do I hear a motion? So moved. Second. Thank you. Any questions? Call the roll, please. Head. Yes. Harris. Yes. Schneider. Aye. Greg. Aye. Hubbard. Aye. Sneed. Aye. Past six zero. Thank you. 3.1, discuss impossible take actions on the adjustments of the retail electric rates of the Springfield Electric Department due to the wholesale fuel cost adjustments by TVA. Do I hear a motion? So moved. Second. Okay. Uh, Robert Gardner is not here and it is in your packet. I'm used to calling on him and so I can pick on him, so he's not in his chair tonight. So you, did you read your packet and understand that it is lower, right? It yes. Is lower. <coughs> Any questions? Good for senior citizens. Good for all of us. Call the roll, please. Budget. Hubbard. Aye. Head. Yes. Schneider. Aye. Sneed. Aye. Greg. Aye. Harris. Yes. Class six zero. Thank you. 3.2, discuss impossible take action on the adjustments of the monthly gas rates for the Springfield Gas Department. Do I hear a motion? So move. I'll be the second. Who needs the first? <coughs> Greg. Greg. Mr. Riddle, we'll let you report tonight. Well, we've got good news. We're down. The purchase gas adjustment is down 19.06%. Right. Remember last month it jumped up? <laughs> I think that was the speculators trying to yeah. get this last ditch effort to, but it's down 19, 11, 19 percent. I like it when you both go in the same direction, downward. <laughs> <laughs> Any questions? Call the roll, please. Sneed. Aye. Harris. Yes. Hubbard. Aye. Greg. Aye. Head. Yes. Schneider. Aye. Pass six zero. 3.3, discuss impossible take action on a pay rates for the Board of Mayor and Alderman. Do I hear a motion? So moved. Do I hear a second? Second. Mr. Gray. Okay. Discussion, gentlemen. 
Mayor, this is some information that was gathered with some talk that took place. It has been um, 15 years since there's been any increase in compensation to this board. Uh, the last compensation took effect in July of 2003, and I believe prior to that it was approximately 15 or 16 years there about that that was increased. Uh, this is just some comparison rates of cities and that is surrounding us. Um, certainly, we have a um, city manager now that is requiring more from this board. Few special meetings. That, that is a good thing. You have to work. That is, that is a good thing. Few special meetings. As, as you already know, with the exception of this month, uh, January, February, March, there's been a special meeting each month. Um, and according to our city manager, there's probably going to be will more. Continue. <laughs> going to continue with the things that we're facing with the water and sewer system, and, and uh, from that that instance. So it's basically just out there for in discussion. Budget. Okay, Mr. Hubbard. I've always, uh, I've always been in favor of of an increase since I'm I'm the old fellow who's been around a long time. Because really, in the charter said part time, we're really full time. I mean, you really never, you never really get away from it, you know. So it'd be nice to, uh, to compensate us where we can eat maybe three or four steak dinners a month. <laughs> Mr. Harris. One, one thing to point out also, Mayor, uh, and Ms. Barty can correct me if I'm wrong. If, if this board decides to do this, this is not something that takes effect immediately. Right. Um, it would, I believe by law, the three seats that come up for election in November actually could start receiving the compensation the 1st of December. No. Mm -hmm. cannot, you, have you have to have, to have both elections. Okay. So it would be so any, an December. any pay increase would have to be December of 2020. 2020. But um, you can't, no board can vote themselves a raise right. while in office. So. And you have to have both election cycles, so it's the full So board. both have to be completed. So we all have the same compensation? Any other comments? Sounds good. So, <laughs> <laughs> are, are, are we eligible to just put it in motion? I mean, both? We, we have to do it by ordinance. Okay. And we don't have the ordinance tonight, and then we would need to know how much. The last compensation, there was 150 added to the alderman seats and 200 to the, uh, excuse me, well, the mayor's was doubled. So basically the mayor received a $300 compensation increase. The alderman received 150 But if you look at some areas around us, um, some cities are not the same size. Some are Gullitsville. They're receiving $450, where Hendersonville is receiving 584 um, Millersville, which is certainly a city lower, uh, less size than ours, is receiving 400. Not real sure what's going on in Pleasant View, but uh, their mayor <laughs> receives 1250 and their alderman receives 59 dollars. Yeah. <laughs> that sounds unfair. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so, but, uh, Portland's getting 600 dollars. Portland, and I would think would be a city smaller yeah. than us. Okay. Mr. Hubbard? Comments? I like Rich Talk where the boss mayor is paid more. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Snake? Come on. Mr. Craig? Okay. I'll just say this. We're here because we love the city. So it's not for the money, but to show some some <coughs> favor or response that we thank you, men and women who dedicate your life to lead us. And this is why Mr. Harris is sort of prompt to do that. And I support it because you want us to be effective. And so, you know, show us that you love us a little bit. So I'm to say. Okay. Do you want her to bring back an ordinance next month? Make her. 
I would make a motion that we increase the pay of the board of mayor and alderman. The alderman paid six hundred dollars monthly, and the mayor to twelve hundred dollars monthly. We have a motion on the floor. Second <coughs> motion. Okay, we have a second. Ms. Holt will bring back an ordinance next month uh, with the alderman making $600, the mayor making $1,200. To take effect in December of 2020. Mm -hmm. Right. Is my according, well, that's according to our charter. Sir. Point of order. Sir. Do we need to vote on that motion? We made a motion. It was a second. Mm -hmm. okay. Any discussion on that? What's the current mayor pay? Seven. 700 which that figure would be double, the, which it is double now. 700, we're 350. So it would be 1,200 and 600. Okay. Or any other ideas. I mean, that's just my. Any more would, discussion? It would it be more appropriate to to amend this if we want an amendment next month when we have an ordinance in front of us? Is that well, we do we need? I was planning on bringing the ordinance back next month for first reading. Yeah. Is there any? I can't see there's any rush since it doesn't go into effect until December of 2020 right. anyway. Right. Sure. Yeah put another spin on this. Sure. With the exception of tight Texas, most other southern states, small town southern states, are paying something like $10,000 all the way up to $20,000 a year to their council people. So we're not shooting for that, but I'm just letting you know, okay? Okay. So with the exception of Texas, within the southern region, we are lower. Okay. Ready to vote on the motion? Any more discussion? <coughs> Call the roll, please. Schneider? Aye. Uh, Harris? Yes. Greg? Aye. Uh, Sneed? No. Head? Yes. Hubbard? Yes. Pass five to one. Okay. <coughs> 3.4, discuss impossible take action to approve the parade applications for the Robertson County Chamber of Commerce for the community predators watch parties. Dates have not been released and the times will be one hour before the game time and 30 minutes after the game ends. These could go through May. Do I hear a motion? So moved. Second. Okay. Any discussion? We have a lot of predator fans. We do so and it's a lot of fun. <laughs> Which is supportive. I hope we go through May. <laughs> Any more discussion? And it is the home games only. Home games only. Call the roll, please. Hubbard. Aye. Sneed. Aye. Harris. Yes. Schneider. Aye. Head. Yes. Greg. Aye. Pass six zero. Thank you. 3.5, discuss and possible take action to approve the parade applications for the Springfield Creative Coalition for the Art Walk to be held on April 19th, May 17th, June 21st, and July 19th, August 16th, September 20th, October 18th, November 15th, and December 20th, 2018 from 5.30 p.m. to 8.30 p.m. Do I hear a motion? So moved. Second. Any discussions? Yes, I think we have an artist on our... Are you still drawing, sir? A painting? He used to draw and paint. So. <laughs> so we have one on staff. Hope to see his work at Art Walk. It's, right. If you haven't been out for Art Walk, it is a great event on our square in our downtown area. Call the road, please. Head? Yes. Harris? Yes. Snyder? Ah. Uh, Greg? Ah. Uh. Hubbard. Aye. Sneed. Aye. Pass six zero. Three point six. Discuss and possible take action to approve the parade application for the Springfield Parks and Recreation 
for the free summer concert series and the historic event coordinators for the first Friday markets to be held May 4th, June 1st, July 6th, and August the 3rd of 2018 from 5 p.m. to 9.30 p.m. Do I hear a motion? So moved. Second. Any discussion? Call the roll, please. Hubbard. Aye. Head. Yes. Schneider. Aye. Sneed. Aye. Greg. Aye. Harris. Yes. Pass 6-0. Thank you. 3.7, discuss impossible take action on a request from the Parks and Recreation Department to approve the bids for Batson Brothers Construction Company LLC in the amount of $373,780 for the construction of the Picnic Pavilion and the restroom combination facility at the Martin Luther King Park. Do I hear a motion? The budget's $400,000. So moved. Second. Any questions on this project? Might I add one thing? Yes, ma'am. Um, we're including the alternate one, which is $3,000. So actually, the total is $376,780. Another comment. Even in the inclement weather, Saturday, the park was still full. People love to use our parks. And so this is, you know, this is, this is going to really enhance a lot of folk want to have picnics, family reunions, and whatever out there. So, thank you, Mr. Martin. Yes, sir. Other questions? Call the roll, please. Sneed. Aye. Harris. Yes. Hubbard. Yes. Greg. Aye. Head. Yes. Schneider. Aye. Pass 6-0. 3.8, discuss impossible take action on the Parks and Recreation five-year long-range plan for 2018 through 2022. Do I hear a motion? So moved. Second. Mr. Martin. <coughs> this is also a part of the grant application that uh, they just like to see this go into play. Is it, it's in the packets. Yes. Mm -hmm. So you had a chance to look at it, uh, what they're asking us to do for the next five years. And we're not held accountable to this because obviously seats could change. Uh, okay. Any questions? Hopefully the seats don't change. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Again, you're doing a good job. Sir. Thanks, sir. No questions. Thank you, Mr. Martin. Call the roll, please. Harris. Yes. Schneider. Aye. Hubbard. Aye. Sneed. Aye. Greg. Aye. Head. Yes. Pass six zero. Three point nine. Discuss impossible take action to approve the <coughs> easements for contract five interceptor and the Logan Todd County Regional Water Commission, and the easements are listed in your attachment. Do I hear a motion? So moved. Second. Second. Thank you. Any questions? Call the roll, please. Schneider. Aye. Harris. Yes. Greg. Aye. Sneed. Aye. Head. Yes. Hubbard. Aye. Pass six zero. Three point ten. Our monthly report on the progress of the AOC sewer collection systems contract. Our interim director, Terry Beers. I was just going to let you know, really good news uh, for a change that we have all our easements in hand. Uh, we'll be sending them to SR. <laughs> we'll be sending them to the SRF tomorrow for funding to get started. Uh, we'll go through our bid process, uh, advertising, and then we'll probably be bringing in June. We'll be bringing the actual bids for the two tanks and the phase five. So they should be coming in June. We'll be ready to go to work. Thank you. Any yeah. questions to Mr. Terry? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. There's a, I was wanting to readdress the donut hole that's over the hill on Kenny's Road. Kenny's Road. Yes. Where there's an area between um, the top of the hill and Green Hills subdivision mm -hmm. that's on separate tanks with a manhole. There's a manhole at the, at the entrance of Green Hills subdivision and it's all downhill and so I think so. Maybe 800 feet to get it up to those houses. So, want to readdress that maybe in this year's budget. Okay, that's fine. Because uh, there's a there's there's a I think 
there's three or I think there's six acres, three or six acres that's on also drive that would could also flow in this as a, as a potential for development uh, that's behind the uh, old uh, Connor's house over the hill. You know where that is? There's a patch of woods right so. in there yeah. between between the last house on over the hill, Keith Road, and also drives there's a patch of woods. It's, it's just sitting there undeveloped. Okay. I could put, probably put about ten homes in there. And I'm gonna oh. here in a minute. We're gonna talk about having a special meeting for the budget. Okay. And All a right. date. I will play. Thanks. All right. I first want to congratulate uh, our fire chief, Mr. Jimmy Hamill, for an ISO rating of three. And what does that mean? It, to the citizens of Springfield, it means that your insurance rates will go down because we are a, a three. What that means, um, we're one of the very few fire departments, one out of 3,000, that have a class three rating. So I want to congratulate you and thank you for working so hard to make us an ISO three. Thank you. We need to talk about having a special meeting for the budget. If you'll look at your May calendars, we need to look at the week of May 7th. Would you be available on May 10th? You can start the meeting whatever time you'd like. Our budget will be to us the end of this month. Okay. And you'll have a you'll have a time to review you'll have it. A week over a week to look at it. This will be a special call meeting. Yes. This is it's the budget work session that we do every year. But it is also a special yes. call meeting. Yes. So could we put two point one and two point three on that meeting? Yes, to expedite. And then you mean the two ordinances? The two on ordinances second. add okay. that to the meeting, then they'll appear on third reading on the fifteenth. And then we have another. Um, mm -hmm. And then I think we've got another. Wait, wait you can't do a special. You can't, can't do a public hearing on special meeting. Yeah, you can't do a public hearing. It wouldn't be a public. It would on a second reading. Okay. If we advertise it properly, you can do it. Good idea. I mean, or. If it's if you feel it's necessary, I don't. I assume these people want it open. Quick as they can. That way, it's a good idea. The third reading. Probably do well, the, that. Would, that would complete their third. Probably reading. do the third reading, but the the one needs a special that needs a public hearing. Sleep on the fifteenth. That don't need to be on there. I was going to say. I, so I, we put I, two point three on there then. So the eighteen o two on third reading. Yes. Okay, and At the public hearing would be at the regular meeting. Right. Okay. So that, that will give them what they need to yes. be done mm -hmm. on the 10th of May. Is that right. correct? Okay. Let me say this. So, on the 23rd to the 26th, I'll be out of state celebrating my 50th wedding anniversary. So Congratulations. I will be available during that time. Okay. Which month? May. Okay, so can you, well, everyone on this side, can you meet May 10th for a Special meeting. What time? What time do you want to meet? Can you, let's let's talk about the date real quick. We're gonna do it all one night. One yes, night. like we did before. <laughs> yes. Do you want it? Do you want to start at five? You want to start later? No, early is better. Early. Five is fine with me. Are we talking about the seventh? Ten. With ten. 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 Yeah, anytime. Feedness. <laughs> Always asking for food. <laughs> we will get with Carolyn's catering, and uh, we will feed. Please you. feed us. <laughs> Why don't we get? It, we like it, it, that's going to be a, a long meeting. Why don't we get Subway's that night if that's okay? It'd be something it'd light. Be light. But, yeah, but we yeah, we'll be here a long time. We like. You so. talk about Southern Bubba's that we like to eat. <laughs> so give us plenty of food. <laughs> I don't want to go to sleep. So we're okay. saying the tenth of May at five o'clock. Right. May 10th at 5. Is that good, gentlemen? It's good. Okay. No, no cookies and May 10th. Thursday. I'll take a cookie. It's a Thursday. Uh, Thursday, May 10th at 5 o'clock. Okay. Ms. Holt, it's your report. 
City Manager's Report. Okay, um, don't have much. I just wanted to recognize that the police department received a $2,500 grant from Walmart, again, Yay. for the Shop with the Cop program, which has been very successful. So we want to recognize the Walmart and the police department. And then last Thursday, I think it was, the Bransford Community Center Committee um, had the interviews with the top two firms, Lowson Associates and JJCA, I think is what it was. So um, Mr. Brewer has scored all of the tally sheets and um, Lowson Associates scored the highest. And so what that means is at this point, they can, um, they can go ahead to committee and negotiate a price with Lowson Associates. So I just wanted to let you all know that this project is still moving along and um, that's what they will do. And then when they get the price negotiated, they will bring it back to this board for approval. Okay. And that's all I have. Thank you. Meeting is adjourned. It's not I think we were I think we were quicker than the